What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Black Talent Sport. This is Bullet. And in today's video, it's going to be somewhat controversial. Uh, why do I say that? It's because uh, today's video is about a modification that I've done. But I've heard nothing but people bash. They completely bash and say it doesn't work. It doesn't make any power. So what is it? It's the Steeda Throttle Body Spacer. Today, we're going to dive into it. We're going to see, does it really work? What does it work towards? Is it trash? Is it actual gimmick? We're going to look at that. So stick around. Before we get into today's video, I must stop and celebrate. All right. Now, we have crossed over into double digit subscribers. <laughs> That's right. We went from eight, we were stuck on eight for the longest. And then uh, all of a sudden, the last couple of days, I'm up to 14. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to celebrate. Technically speaking, it is 13. I mean, my daughter, she signed into my other account that I have. And uh, she decided to subscribe to this channel and liked all of my videos. She means well. She really also wants the channel to grow. So she's showing her support. So Savannah, thank you for your continued support. Daddy loves you, sweetie pie. But on the real, I want to thank the uh, the uh, the pickup in the subscribers. Um, your continued support means a lot to me. But uh, I do want to encourage you guys to keep it going. Let's continue to subscribe, hit the notification, smash the like button. I am seeing an increase in video uh, views for the video. I really appreciate the support. Um, and also the, the couple of comments that I've received, um, you know, with the nice videos. And I really appreciate that. That lets me know that, you know, this work that I am doing is, uh, actually paying off. It's, it's a sign of progress. And that's what, that's what I want. I want this, this channel to grow and hopefully you do as well. So continue to support by liking, sharing, and subscribing. All right. Thank you very much. All right, so let us now talk about the first thing with this uh, throttle body spacer. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about why I got it. Um, you know, I was just trying to see what was out there for um, for Bullet, you know, for the 3.5 EcoBoost. And, you know, I came upon the throttle body spacer after uh, the K&N. Uh, now, I looked at it with a designer's eye. Um I didn't discover all the negativity after I purchased it, but what I was thinking, or at least what it made me feel or, or believe is that, you know, there's one thing that the throttle body spacer should be good at or will work towards. And I, that one thing I believe is mixing of the, uh, the air coming into the intake, that swirl pattern that it has. Uh, it really reminds me of the like striation or lands and grooves of the inside of a barrel of a gun. <laughs> you know, I, I, I guess it has some sort of relation to bullet, right? But follow me for a little bit. Those grooves on the inside of a, a chamber of a gun, uh, it helps to keep the bullet stabilized and actually go a little bit faster because it, it twists it, begins to twist the bullet and that makes it travel faster. It increases um, or at least maintains its velocity. So why wouldn't that do the same thing for the intake air coming inside of the intake? It's right, at the, right after the throttle body. So in my mind, I was thinking that, okay, this should help um, swirl or mix uh, the the air or you know keep it keep the air coming into the, the engine it, if it gives it a swirl it will make it um, much easier for fuel to be mixed it in or added in so that's the reason why I got it and I looked at that the, the design of it I was like that's what it's going to do now the next thing that I want to talk about regarding this uh, thought about his spacer is my butt dyno now I, I haven't um put the car on a dyno before or after uh well actually i did put the car i did put bullet on the dyno after but it wasn't right after this install uh i did this a little bit later on um when i finished up the exhaust 
I did make a dino video, my first dino video, and I never released it anywhere because I wasn't so sure, you know, how I wanted to, how, how I wanted to proceed with that particular video. Um, so you may or may not see that. It, it depends. Sorry for the tease. Uh, but you know what? I tell you what. If this video gets anywhere between 286 likes all the way up to 410 likes, I will definitely release the first Dyna video and then I will definitely make part two of the Dyna video because I plan to make two, but I don't know. I just kind of scrapped the idea after the first Dyna video was finished. I figured I had some more things to do. But back to uh, the topic at the moment, which is how uh, the dyna, how the car changed after installing this throttle body spacer. Almost immediately, I noticed two things. Uh, the first was I noticed that as the RPMs would climb, that I felt like I was getting an extra boost. Like, you know, the car would go, you know, um, and I likened that to the swirl, you know. Um, and the other thing, well, that kind of point towards the mid range. I really feel like there was an increase in mid range power. Now, this the second thing that um, I, I should have noticed, but I didn't really do the proper uh, I don't want to say research, but I didn't record properly, um, which is MPGs. Uh, this throttle body spacer should help with MPGs, okay, um, on the longer trips. You know, most of us that buy uh, uh, the Sport trim or the Platinum trim of the Explorers, we're not really too concerned about MPGs. The majority, some are, myself, no. Because this thing is on the road 12 hours a day, six days a week. So, you know, my MPGs and, I, you know, I drive like a madman. <laughs> that cat and mouse game, I'm telling you. Um, so my MPGs are bad even when they should be good. All right. So that's something that we can't really look at. Um, I never recorded or documented because I know uh, my driving habits hurt. MPGs plus all the modifications I've done makes no point in noting how bad my MPGs are But the main idea of what I'm saying is that after I installed the Steeda throttle body spacer I actually felt a difference and that's all that's important to me So now I'm going to talk about some of the negative things that I've heard that I really just I don't get I don't understand um, It wasn't until after I um I believe I had posted on one of the social media groups um about the purchase of the Steeda throttle body spacer. Man, oh man, the response. I mean, left, right, and center people. Oh, it doesn't work. Makes no power. It's a gimmick. And I'm like, do you not see the design characteristics of it? I mean, immediately that popped out of my mind. And I was just thinking like why why are people saying these kind of things have they put these have they put um the, the their vehicles on the dyno after installed it and seen any loss or no gains or no change or, or nothing makes me wonder if they really have them but me like i said i felt the difference after it was installed so that's all that matters to me now the the installation of this throttle body spacer it's so straightforward it's probably one of uh the easiest modifications I've made, uh, which basically involves just taking off the uh, four bolts of the throttle body. Uh, of course, you got to take off the the, the, the the pipe, the intake pipe, you know, unplug it, unplug the throttle body, bolt it right up. No issues at all. It's perfect. And overall, like I said, I'm very happy uh, with the results. The look and finish of it is beautiful, nice. It's like artwork, man. It's like jewelry for my engine, you know, 130 plus thousand miles, and it still looks very good. <laughs> oh, and um, one other thing that I also really like about this throttle body spacer is that um, you can't barely tell that it's there. Uh, only time you'll be able to see it is if you have the engine cover off. 
But if the engine cover is on, you don't see it. And I love that. All right, well, that wraps up today's video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you guys for like, sharing, and subscribing. Uh, make sure you are hitting that notification button so that when I come out with the next video, uh, you will be notified. And this next video, you're not going to want to miss this one. It's special to me. It's one of my favorite modifications. It's going to be the uh, boiler S-type catback exhaust with the CF tip. So you don't want to miss that one. So make sure you are hitting that, uh, that notification so that you'll see when I come out with that video. Please remember to have a blessed day and peace out.